Dennis Prager is a nationally syndicated radio host, a best-selling author, and then something really important. He is the founder of Prager U. And his group's mission is to promote American values through educational videos. Now, those videos have racked up, get this, more than 5 billion views online. I think it's fair to say he's making an impact. Please welcome back to the show, but for the first time in our studio, Dennis Prager. Dennis, Wonderful so glad to have to be you. with you. Hi, everybody, and Governor, thank you. I am... Uh, Blown away by the impact of Prager U. Well, did you ever think it would be no, never, such an no, outreach? And, and never. Uh, but I, I have to say, the New York Times <laughs> just did Prager U and me the greatest favor possible. <laughs> just, just in the fast few days, it had a front page article on Elon Musk, and it said he's become so conservative he must be watching Prager U videos. <laughs> <laughs> is that what a compliment uh, oh my gosh <laughs> you you cannot buy that kind of publicity that is correct but you know everyone that i have known who has seen the prager you videos recognize that they're practical they're not long so people can certainly uh, manage to to watch them in their busy schedules but they're also done very professionally and powerfully it's not possible for people to, to know how much work goes into every one of the five-minute videos. Uh, we fact-check everything over and over. There are about five editors plus the presenter. I'm one of the editors, so I know how much work goes into it. And that's part of the reason for, for well, it's a big part of the reason for its success. So here is what I would like parents to know, and it's free, so I'm not doing any fundraising here. Yeah. Every video, everything we put out is free. I believe that unless your child is going to study STEM, science, technology, engineering, or math, they would learn more, be a finer human being, and truly significantly be wiser if they watched our 500 videos than if they went to Princeton. I totally agree. And they would have such a much more balanced worldview. Dennis, you have made the comment that the left ruins everything it touches. That's right. And I think a lot of us would agree with that. What happened? There used to be somewhat of a balance between the left and the right, and people would talk and dialogue, get along, even compromise and, and find solutions. Those days are gone. Those days are gone because... When we used to think left-right, we thought liberal-right or liberal-conservative. Liberals vote for the left, but they share no left-wing values. So it is the tra that is the tragedy in, in a nutshell. Liberals don't vote their values. Mm. The protector of liberal values is the conservative. We protect free speech. We protect a free economy. We protect America's alliance with Israel. Liberals were noted for their love of Israel. Uh, John Kennedy and, and, and Daniel Patrick Moynihan and Henry Jackson. But that, that's, the left has taken over the Democratic Party, and they've ruined the Democratic Party, just as they have ruined the, the, the press and the arts and architecture and elementary schools and human happiness. When you talk about things being absurd, uh, you've written that there are 11 examples. Right. <laughs> Give us some of the things that have become well, just mind-numbing crazy. Well, I, I listed in, in my piece, number one, men, men give birth. So here is a, here is, <laughs> well, so here's a very interesting <laughs> little story, and all of you can watch this on the internet. I was on Bill Maher's show uh, October, right before the lockdowns. By the way, I never say before COVID. COVID was not the issue. The destructive issue was the lockdowns. Mm. So I always say before lockdown. Good distinction. So this was October or November of, of 2019. I was on the show and he was telling me, of course, President Trump was still president, how much President Trump lies. And I said... It doesn't compare to the amount of lies the left tells. And of course, I'm the only 
liberal or non-left in, in the entire building. Yeah. And which I love, by the way. I get it. Yeah. I, I, it's actually a high for me. And, and, and so I, I said, I said, it doesn't compare. And he says, oh, yeah, like what? And I said, well, for example, like America is systemically racist. That is a gigantic lie. It is the least racist, multi-ethnic, multicultural, or a multi-racial country in world history. Uh, and, uh, and I'll give you another one. Men menstruate. And Bill Maher <laughs> starts to laugh. And the whole panel I'm with on stage start to laugh. And the entire audience is laughing. And Bill Maher goes, who says that? You could all see it. It's gone viral on the internet. Who says that? Now, every leftist says that. Yeah. In other words, what was regarded as absurd by Bill Maher and his audience and his panel just two and a half years ago is now normative on the left. So that's just one. I, as you said, I, I wrote 11, and I don't remember them uh, all by heart, but, uh, uh, well, um, America systemically racist is an absurdity. Yeah. Uh, as I, this is one of the great questions to ask any of your relatives, can I look at the audience Absolutely. Hey. They love you. They love you here. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> so, I want you to ask, because I do this all the time, to so raise your hand if you, if you don't have a leftist in your extended family. <laughs> no hands go up. Yeah. Okay. So, so I say, ask them totally uh, honorably, uh, just ask them this. Do you think America is systemically racist? They'll say yes, otherwise they're not a leftist. And, and then say, so I'm curious, how do you explain three million blacks moving to America from Africa and the Caribbean in the last few decades? So now they'll, they may deny it, but you could say, look it up, it's, and you give them a New York Times source, uh, which to them is like giving a, a Christian or a Jew a biblical source. <laughs> and, 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 and so just say, it's, 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 it's there. How do you explain? So either all of those three million blacks are stupid or it's not true. One, there are only two possibilities. As I say, did any Jews move to Germany in the 1930s? Yeah. <laughs> N not one. Yeah. As bad as it was for Jews in Eastern Europe, not one moved to Germany because Germany really was systemically racist. Yeah. But America is the land of opportunity for black Africans and black Caribbeans. That's the point. It is the land of opportunity for every race. Absolutely. That's pretty uh, compelling. Very compelling. Well, I, I just think it's so important what you're doing, and I, I'm pretty sure that the reaction you're getting from this audience is a little different than the one you got from Bill Maher's audience. Right, so I want you to know, though, as much as I am touched by your audience's reaction, and I, and I truly am, I don't know I, I, if I am more motivated by this or when I'm booed. <laughs> I don't, I, I, they both motivate me. <laughs> profoundly. <laughs> well, Dennis, I can tell you this. You motivate millions of Americans you, with yes. the wisdom yes, that you have done. The radio show is, in my mind, a small part of what you're doing, but your books, and more importantly, PragerU, which must be one of the most ingenious ideas that anyone has come up with in the last 50 years. It is just a godsend to this country. I, I just need to say, because God is watching, it wasn't my idea. You're, you're humble to say it, but without you, it would not that's have true. happened. Without me, <laughs> it, it would be something else. That's true. But, at, but it was Alan Estrin's idea, my, my buddy, the producer of my show, uh, and I always want him to get the credit. That's why we want to have you back. Thank you very we, much. And we do. Our audience is going to want to check out everything Thank that you. Dennis Prager is doing with Prager U. If you head to Huckabee.tv, we'll have a connection directly to PragerU and all the things about Dennis Prager's radio show, and you're going to want to have it. If you've not been familiar with the PragerU videos, man, the night's a great time to start watching them. You will get addicted to them.